Hi everyone, thought I would give a quick tour of supplies needed in your stained glass studio if you are looking to start doing stained glass. So here we go. No particular order, but um, here we go. The first is you'll need a, likely a grinder. I have a glass star grinder um, that helps you grind the glass. Um, I use gloves, like a gr I use Gorilla Gloves, Gorilla Girl Gloves. Um, this can help hold small pieces of glass up to the grinder, so I love this thing. Uh, of course, sponges are helpful, and safety goggles. Everybody needs some safety goggles. <clears throat> I also have a dish where I pour water in here, so I have a thermos with water, and this will help me um, take off like the, the paper that's on cut glass, um, rinse it off. And then this is, is actually a restaurant bar mat. Get them for like a couple bucks. Um, and that helps when I take the glass out of here, put them on here to dry. Um, my table where I do the glass is made up of a couple things. This is a, underneath here, it's just drywall. Um, slabs of drywall. I do lead cane work. So what's needed with lead cane besides your glass is strips of lead cane. You need nails that look like this. And um, you need these little blue, blue things like this where the nails go into and hold the lead cane. So <clears throat> that's what you need kind of on the, the board. Um, your glass tools. These are the basics. So you definitely need um, a pair of these pliers to actually break the glass. You need running pliers um, to help after the glass is scored to break it. You need a hammer, one of these, when you actually hammer in the nails <coughs> on your dry, um, when you're putting it together. This obviously, glass cutter, essential. Um, I also have this, I forget what this is called, but this is actually what you use to cut the lead cane. Uh, here's your lead cane. And then this tool is what you use to mark the lead cane and measure it before you cut it. Um, and of course I have pen, sharpie, eraser when I'm doing patterns. Um, these are things that help with copper foil and then making sure the light cane channel is open I use one of those and of course the waffle board just this in general to cut glass on uh, is essential and then I have for my soldering I have my soldering iron um, I have solder 60-40 tin lead um, flux brushes and then of course flux gel when I am actually soldering and I also use an exhaust fan for soldering and I have a regulator um, that I use to plug my soldering iron into. Uh, other chemicals, I have finishing compound, a glass cleaner with no ammonia, a finishing compound, stained glass grinder fluid so the grinder doesn't overheat, and uh, glass cutting oil um, for when I'm actually cutting glass. Um, over here, I have up my glass all kind of in these handy dividers um, and bigger sheets underneath. Um, I also have, you know, bin for garbage, bin for glass, a whole thing for towels, etc. Extra pieces of dry erase board uh, here. And let's see what else. And in my closet, a bunch of stuff. So I've got a lead cleaner. Um, I've got uh, hand soap for working with lead. I've got lime that goes with making putty. I have spools of lead came. Extra supplies, extra supplies. Uh, this is for actually making putty. So it's uh, boiled linseed oil, raw linseed oil, and black powder uh, to color it. And I 
have some copper foil supplies here. <clears throat> Bronze wool to help me clean the stained glass, a mask, uh, etc. I have a few aprons that I use when I'm actually creating glass, a whole bunch of papers. You know the drill <clears throat> for to lay my stained glass on if I'm putting chemicals on it. I've got a copper foil station with all different sizes of copper foil. Um, and patterns are hanging up in the wall. All different patterns. Um, ones that I'm going to be working on or have worked on. And then I do have also a lead cane stretcher, um, which I just kind of have hanging against my wall and I use it as needed. So one more view. That's my studio. Not very big, but it's got everything I need. And hopefully those that are setting up a studio give you an idea of some supplies you might need. Have a good one.